Whoa, now. Nah. What's good with you boys out there? So I figure I'll show y'all a little bit of my gold collection. Yeah, you see these guns right here? These are some of my ones I like the most. So I'm going to tell you about them a little bit, and I'm going to show you about them a little bit. You heard me? So right here, this is a Colt 45. Now, every gun on this table, before y'all say everything, every gun on this table has been cleared except that one. And we're going to talk about that one a little later, too. So right here, we got the Colt 45. So I wanted a, a fire gun like like the uh, cartel because I've been seeing them on the TVs and stuff. So I got my homeboy at HTX Custom Grips. He hooked me up, bro. Got it black gold, yellow gold. Oh, yeah. Look at that thing. That's a beauty. All the way, all the way down to the magazine, magazine black gold, magazine black gold, all the mag black gold, got everything dipped, all the parts, even the barrel, check it if it ain't raw, you can't tell me that's not sweet, let's cock it back right quick, you the shoe, yeah, the boys don't know about that shoe move. I don't know about that. Yeah, check her out. She's straight. Everything been cleared, you see? So I'm going to show y'all the front. I just showed y'all a shot. I'm going to put the phone over the table because I don't feel like hearing y'all mouth. But look, everything go. Everything go. It's shining. It's so gold. Blingy. I like to bring this gun out when I hit the range on a sunny day. And I just want stunt. I ain't gonna lie. I bring this one out to stunt. This is my stunner right here. Number one stunner. Yeah, that's what that is right there. That's what I'm gonna call that. You know what I'm saying? Stunner. That's what I'm gonna call that. So next, I, 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 I'm i gonna get to this one straight up out the gate. I call her Sexy Black right here. This is my favorite gun. I, I, I keep telling everybody over and over and over and over again, bro. But nobody wanna listen to me. Keep on telling y'all. I ain't going to tell y'all forever, bro. Atlas, bro. Atlas makes some crazy stuff, bro. Like, I'm so accurate with this gun. Like, I ain't even going to lie. This is one of my favorite, bro. Like, I got a Trigicon SRO in here. I got thumb grips, everything, bro. This thing's something serious. And it's one of a kind, too. It's one of a kind, cuz. It's an Atlas Athena, right? That's the name of the gun, Atlas Athena. But I got a custom one. I got the, the gold on the top with my name on it. You know what I'm saying? Then I got the tiger stripes. You see the tiger stripes on them? Ooh, you can't tell me that thing ain't cold. You can't tell me. You can't tell me them stripes ain't cold. Right? You can't tell me that. I ain't even trying to hear that. Nope, nope, nope. Talk all you want. I ain't trying to hear that. You can't tell me them two guns ain't cold. So next, we're going to go to the Springfield Hellcat. Right? So right here, I got 24 karat gold. And if you can see, you see the scratches on it? That been from me holstering it and all kind of stuff. And I got a uh, RMSC shield on here. My shield all dirty, probably the battery. I, don't, I, I used to carry this gun a lot. I used to carry this one a lot, a lot, a lot. But I stopped carrying it after a while because I got so many. And so I only carry this one like when I go out of town and I want to be a little flashy. I bring this one right here. But if I ain't trying to be flashy, I don't mess with this one too much. But... Uh, this gun right here is one of my, used to be one of my favorites, but I ain't gonna lie, uh, so far, uh, EDC, I, I grab my Hellcats a lot. I'm not even gonna lie. I grab my Hellcats a lot, but I got, I got another one of these coming. I got another one of these coming to EDC and I ain't gonna lie. It's a little smaller, uh, with the short body. Oh man, I'm telling you, boy, you just don't know. You gonna see, you gonna see. So next we all got right here. Everybody know this, you know what I'm saying? This that 50. That's that 50 AE Tiger Stripe. And the fire part about this, everybody could go get another Tiger Stripe gun like this, right? But can't nobody go get another Tiger Stripe gun like this. Like, this company, when they custom make guns, they ain't going to make another one like this. So you have to bring it somewhere else. And if you bring it somewhere else, it's going to mess up everything because this gun is, is perfectly made to zero. So that's the fire part about that one. But back to this one. So right here, Tiger Stripe, Desert Eagle, 50 Cal. Yeah, big boy. So everybody be thinking this right here is real gold. No, man. No, I ain't want the real gold one on this one. Because I I, uh, I looked at the page and I found out that this one was more expensive than the real gold one. And this is the titanium gold. 
And this one don't wear down. So when you shoot it, it don't wear down. So that's the difference from the gold one and the titanium. So if I get the real gold, so like after I shoot this gun for a while, it's going to probably start fading right here from the fire. But this one right here, it ain't going to do it because it's titanium. This one right here, I don't know what kind of gold they put on this one. I ain't going to lie. I don't know what they put on this one. But right here, this is real gold too. After a while, that'll burn, that'll burn down. You hear me? So next, we're going to go to that big dog. You hear me? We're going to go to this right here. And this right here is my B. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm about to say the wrong name. This is my Death Wish F15 Arms. I'm about to name my BDRX because I got a 308 by them. Boy, that thing something serious. Boy, that thing, that pressure. But this right here, man, look, I've been having this a while, bro. And I, I, I can't lie, this this the one I put on side the bed, right? This the one going side the bed, bro, with my little slang and everything. So the fire part about this is, see how dirty my boat is? I need to clean it. But what's so cool about them, like, this stuff's so easy to clean. It's so easy. Look, it's all skeletonized. Like, you ain't wiping down much. You ain't doing much. All you got to do is, sh -sh 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 -sh, and this thing clean. So, but look, watch this. Look at that. You see how dirty it is? But look, look how I just wipe off. Look how shiny it is. So this stuff real easy to clean. It's real, real easy to clean. And I got an A-car going here. I got an A-car going here. Let's see if I can see through the scope with the camera. Oh, man, we'll do that another day. But I got an A-car. That's about treasure kind. That's something serious right here. This right here got three times the zoom. It's crazy. No, uh, no batteries. So when you cover this up, it still show. And at daytime, it light. I mean, at nighttime, it light up. All kind of stuff, bro. Crazy. Go check that out, man. That's something serious, too. I ain't even gonna lie. But, oh, yeah. Y'all know about that? Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell y'all, boys. Boy, that's that Black Rambo ammo, man. Yeah, boy. You ain't know I had my own. I don't know if y'all new to me, but I got my own ammunition line, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. My stuff's something serious, man. Pressure. Check it out now. It's real deal, baby. Real deal Holyfield. Got my name on the back of the box. Got my name on the back. Open that box up for them boys, man. Man, that's real deal Holyfield, man. Man, you know how I'm coming. Check that out. Let's see if we can get that name showing. Black round boy. I know y'all see it. Let me back up a little bit. I don't know if y'all see it. That doggone light too bright. But it's on there, man. Black round, but there it go. There it go. Man, y'all see it? Yeah. Them things been out, man. Them things been out for a while, man. Something serious, bro. Black nickel coated brass. Oh, yes. That's brass. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Black nickel coated brass castings. Oh, yeah. Black round boy ammo, man. Something serious. So, last but not least, we're going to get to this one right here. The DP-12. Not going to lie, bro. I love shooting this gun, bro. When people come around, bro. But I don't know if it's me with the certain loads I'm putting in there. But I've been having problems with shotguns. One thing I learned about shotguns, if y'all don't know, shotguns are very funny, bro. You can't just put any shells in a shotgun and go to shooting and thinking it's fine. Because you're going to have a problem. I can promise you that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have a problem. Now, maybe, maybe some shotguns might shoot all shells, but... The ones I have, some of them have problems. Or it's just me or something. I don't know what's going on, but I got this DP-12 right here. And look at this. I've been trying to get this out for the longest. Right? I, I, haven't, I didn't want to bring it to a shop, but it don't want to go forward. I've been trying everything. I done kicked it. I done pulled it. So I got to get this shell out, and it's stuck. And if you can see, let's put it on the ground. All right, so I got it on the ground. And if you can see... See how it's bending that shell? You see that? You see how the rim of it is bent back? And I don't know how what's making it do that from sliding in. I didn't do that. It's doing it on its own. So I can't I can't push it forward no more because of this. So I gotta get this out, right? Get this out. Then I'm gonna try to pump it and see if these two load in. Or it might be the brass because I might have too long a brass. Or I don't know what it is, man. But I'm going to go get a screwdriver. Try to get that out. Then I'm going to kick it forward. Wow. And see if it works. That's what I think I'm going to do. 
Because I've been having, it's the second one, though. I got one out, and then it's stuck again. So I don't know. Maybe I need to try some lighter loads, or I'm going to have to call up the makers or something like that and see what I'm doing wrong, man. But I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something very wrong. But it's the DP-12 double barrel shotgun. It's loaded, but it ain't loaded. It ain't all the way loaded. You see, it don't have nothing in that side. But it got one right there, so I'm going to show you the front. It can't hit. It can't hit. I'm going to just turn it around like this because y'all see. I'm not going to put it in front of my face. I don't want to hear your mouth. I'm standing it up and just putting the phone over it. But double barrel shotgun. Double barrel shot. Now, let me go get my screwdriver. All right. I'm a little upset because I've been trying and trying and trying. And all I've been doing is scratching the brass up. So, I think I'm going to either... I'm definitely not gonna mess with it no more. I'm gonna leave this for a gunsmith. So I might make another video for y'all. I'm gonna break it down myself, break the whole gun down. And I'm gonna show y'all this on another video. But I got a question before I let y'all boys go. Uh, I got a question for y'all before I let y'all boys go. Right? Huh? Which one the most expensive? And I'm gonna leave you like that. Which one the most expensive? Which one the most expensive? Huh? Which one the most expensive? Huh? Which one? Bet you don't know. Bet you don't know. Which one the most expensive? Which one the most expensive, huh? Which one the most expensive? You don't even know. You don't even know. Make a guess, man. Put it in the comments, man. Put it in the comments. Which one y'all think the most expensive? You heard me? Yeah, like, subscribe. Do all that, man. I appreciate the love y'all giving me, man. I'm going to give y'all some good videos, man. Be ready for me. I'm out. Black Rambo, you heard me? Man, ain't no way I'm about to finish this video off. Without letting y'all see my name on the back of this bullet, man. The right way. The right way. You can see it? There it is. Black Rambo 9mm. Yeah, Black Rambo ammo, baby. I'm out.